Can we need an explanation? A... They found your phone. I don't know. <laughs> I am mom and I'm on a rampage. Well, good morning, Ryan. It's Monday morning, by the way. Today is Katie's laundry day. To be followed up with tomorrow is Ryan's laundry day. Oh no, that's not true. Yours is Wednesday. I put them in the wrong order. All right, you guys, let me just explain what's going on here and why I had to resort to actually putting huge signs on the refrigerator. Is because the kids would just, instead of folding their clothes and putting them away, like after you wear a clothes one time, it doesn't necessarily have to go into the laundry if it's clean, right? Well, instead of folding it and putting it away or hanging it back up in their, their closet, they would what? Put it in the dirty clothes. It's easier to just take it and put or, it in the dirty clothes. Or just throw it on the ground. Or just throw it on the ground, exactly. So then what would happen is their dirty clothes would build up, build up, build up, build up. Then it's time to do laundry. Guys, time to do laundry. So all of them would go in the laundry room at the same time and it, everything would like crash. It was like this huge apocalypse because Ryan would put his stuff in the washing machine and then he'd forget to move it to the dryer and then Katie would come down, she'd be ready to do the laundry so she'd take the stuff out of the washing machine and either put it on the ground, put it on the top or put it in the dryer but then either forget to turn it on or whatever and then Brenda would come down and then it's his turn and Katie hadn't moved her stuff. Anyway, before I knew it, there was wet laundry piles and dirty piles and clean piles and I couldn't tell anything from anything. So it was a bad show. So, I put together not only the chore chart, but laundry day. Everybody has their own day to do laundry. This is my chore chart. Oh my gosh, he's so extra. I am not extra. So extra. How, you know what, it doesn't get done if you don't write it down, if you don't have a schedule. I am mom and I'm on a rampage, I'm telling you right now. So here's our chore chart, here we go. This is the week of March 17th, which is this current week. So Katie is responsible for trash, Brennan's responsible to clean the bathroom, and Ryan is responsible for the stairs. Katie's laundry day is Monday, Brennan's laundry day is Tuesday, Ryan's laundry day is Wednesday, they have the weekend off. How nice is that? Then on the week of the 24th, then it switches. So this week, Ryan, according to the chart, what is your responsibility? Stairs. Stairs, that's, that's my boy. So you're welcome. Yes, it is. We're going to see how this what works. What do you mean you're welcome? You're absolutely welcome for letting you know what's going on so you can prepare and plan. And that, my friends, is how this house works. Brian, I've got good news for you. I've got good news that today's, oh my gosh, today's Monday, but this video is going to go up on Wednesday. Guess what Wednesday is? First day of spring. Oh, yay! That is kind of good news. Usually when you tell me good news, it's bad news. It's well, bad news? It's not bad news, but it's like underwhelming news. And I like, oh, so I'm like, yeah, good news, and then it's really underwhelming. I, okay. Wow. Oh, really? So you're like, it's like crying wolf. Like, I keep saying it's going to be good news, and it's not really that good news? Jeez, oh man. So I didn't get that shit. But when's the last time I said good news and it wasn't good news? You exceeded my expectations. Oh, good. Um, so this is the deal. So the next, okay, so the next big thing we look forward to is the fact that it's going to be spring. And then we look forward to our trip to England for our Easter. Yo, that's so cool. All right, you guys, we're leaving here all April 16th. April 16th. I think our meetup is going to be on the 19th of April. So that is Good Friday, but it'll be like after Mass and all that stuff. So yeah. uh, we're going to meet up in London, England on August 9th, or April 8th. April 19th. I'm very excited about that. But stay tuned. Please follow um, us on Instagram at It's the Donnelly's Official. You see it right here. Yes. It's the Donnelly's and Official. Also, Twitter. Follow it's me. The it's Ryan Donnelly on Instagram. What? What are you going to tell them? I'm telling them to follow so they can keep up with when we're going to have a meetup. Well, because I'm just a good person and I push good stuff. Oh, okay. Maybe we should just follow you for that reason. Yeah, pretty All right, much. that's cool. Alright, we hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. You yeah. looking forward to a wonderful Monday? No. It's not your laundry day. You get to wait till Wednesday. Gosh, stop! We're not doing that! We have a problem with keys. Hi, buddy. I've opened that lockbox like a thousand times in the <laughs> So guess what I did today? Look at that! I went and got new keys. Everybody's sort of been sharing the same key and it's not good. So Brennan has an Orioles key. Wait, let me see if I can focus in on that. Neener, 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 neener. Yep. And I got Ryan. You have a keychain? Yeah, it's kind of a keychain. Here, do you want one of these? I bought one of these too. One of these little dudes, you can put it on. Why do I have one of these? 
Oh, you do? I do have one. Okay, then you don't need it. Maybe Katie and Ryan. Katie and Ryan would need it. Hey, you. Yep, so I got Ryan and Oriole's key. Wait till you see mine. Hold on. I got Katie and American flag key. I have my Mickey bar. I got a long time ago for my friend Kristen bought me that. It's my Mickey Mouse ice cream bar. Now Katie has a matching pen because she won the ice cream eating bar, Mickey ice cream bar eating challenge. If you haven't seen it, take a look right there. You can see that. This is my key that I just got today. Brennan. Wait, you're a little blurry. Hold on. And go. What's that? Nice. Along with my Y card and my... I'm going to say why I call it 2018 membership card. It's a little outdated. Okay. All right. That's hmm. what I got the home key. And I'll put the car keys on here soon. <laughs> really? Yeah. How, aren't you fancy? So do you bring that everywhere you go? No. <laughs> you, you should now, though. Put it, keep it in your backpack. Yeah. Right? How was school? School? Yeah. Is that where I'm you just were? School? You didn't go to school? Did you go to school? Not really. You didn't? Hmm. You guys, he's teasing. One of the things I have to <laughs> explain to a lot of people is we're pretty sarcastic, don't you think? I think we're more sarcastic than people realize. I am. We all are, yeah. And, um, I just yeah, I don't want people to take us too seriously. Like, you know, we joke a lot. <laughs> so you didn't go to school? Mm -mm. Okay. Not really. I know you did. What the blood did to me? Uh, when? Where's this blood? Oh! You're the cute little sweet one. What the heck? Why'd she do that? Have we an need explanation? it. So Katie, we just picked up Katie from Tracked Practice. How to go get spikes. We're going to tracked. get spikes, and I'm always and so I have to get new shoes because I need actual running shoes. And well, I need those aren't socks. your running shoes. Those aren't no, the ones we but the other ones are really. Molly said that I should get new ones. So really? did my coach. Is she gonna? They, are they gonna give you money to get new ones? Because we just bought those. Yeah, I also wear them, but like. Um, all right, so Katie, I'm always so curious about practice because I, I don't, like, because there's so many events and I never know what events you're practicing. So what did you do today? I did pole vault today. I do pole vault on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. And oh. I do sprinting on every other day. But I think I'm going to start doing long jump on Tuesdays. And I just... Are you going to do the decathlon? Because it sounds like you're learning every well single event. I just do everything. That's awesome. No, so for pole vaulting today, for example, what did you do? Like Still like run with the yeah no we weren't doing that type stuff now we're doing it like into the sand like over a fake pole. Really? Yeah. So wait. I literally fell so many times like on my butt in the sand and like at one point I like slid on my side and it was so bad because there were really people there like watching and I was like oh my gosh. There we go. See me. So wait a minute. Better when they were further wait. away. Wait. How do you mean you slid on the sand? What do you mean? What did you do? Like I was. In the air. Wait, did you actually pull up? Like, did you? Yes. Put the <gasps> I've been doing that. You ran with the pole and you put it in the box thing in the hole in the ground and you jumped over. No. What in the do? sand, mom. So wait a minute. Okay, so you tell There's me. There's no so box you... in the sand. You just put the pole in the sand. And then do what? And then jump. <gasps> Is the pole lifting you up? She's so size. Because you told me you were gonna be doing that. Yeah, I didn't think we were, but I think he's just starting us. Like really, I guess. Wow. She's so How far in the air do you go? I don't know. Not that far. <laughs> Taller than you? Taller than five feet? I mean, I wouldn't be able to like get over a five foot thing on the actual like right. Pole, but I don't know. Jeez, this I'm gonna is so come watch. I'm no, gonna, I'm you gonna, can't come watch. Okay, no, I if you come watch, I will actually start crying. I, I will. Have a, okay. She literally, she tried to pull up at my um, tryouts and film at tryouts. I was like, do you know how embarrassing that is? I'm like, no offense to you guys, because like I love you and I want you to be able to see like good content, but that's so embarrassing. Like that's so weird. And if anybody, if you ever do that, I will cry. So I won't go into practice. I'm just teasing you, first of all. See that reaction? That was a good reaction. So one thing she did say to me before we started filming is that their coach said that she the might be competing at the meet this weekend, which literally has like, been on you're the gonna team for two weeks. He's like, you're going to be pole vault. I was like, oh, Wait, no, pole not pole vault. Oh, no. Long jump. Oh, my gosh, you got so nice. Long jump. He was like, you're going to compete long jump. And I was like, I've never actually done that before. And he was like, good, well, we'll practice tomorrow. And I was like. But she's going to learn it tomorrow <laughs> and compete it on Saturday. Tomorrow's Tuesday. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe compete it on, on Saturday. Saturday. Look at my eyes. <laughs> All right, so now we've got to go in and buy you spikes. I don't know what that is. Is that like golf shoes? No. They have, they're like spikes. 
they have like track and they have spikes on the bottom of them. So they get like more traction or whatever. So is that for, do you use those for sprinting? Do you use those for long jump? Oh, you use it for all of it. Do you use it for pole vaulting? <gasps> but there's different types oh, of- no. Yeah, oh, no. No, not for each event. Oh, thank goodness. But there's different, there's like sprinting ones and long distance ones. Okay, so you're not getting so, the long distance ones. No. Okay, we're just buying sprinting ones. Yes. Okay, that makes me happy. All right, let's go ahead and see what this is all about because I, I have no idea what track spikes are. So this is going to be new for me. I know, new for I mean, I actually do know what they are. Because like Molly has literally no joke 10 pairs. Well, of course, that's what she does. Because she's literally just... Uh, well, can we buy a pair of Molly's? No. Why not? They're all long distance ones. Oh, right. She's a long distance nerd. All right, guys. Molly's going to the Olympics. Mark my words. Yeah. So there's video proof right now that Molly's going to the Olympics, and I'm going to go see her happen. That'd be awesome. See, see her happen? Okay, chill. <laughs> Ooh, ooh, <laughs> give you up. We got the worst singing jeans ever. We did. Literally, Nana's a good singer, and you. Just, and so is Carly. And so is Carly, and you just ruined it. Never gonna give you Stop, up, please. Never gonna. These on look it. So they on the bottom. Want to explain? So there's spikes right here that like you screw in. And so like when you sprint, you like run on your toes. Yeah. And it like helps you like run faster in the track. And then, yeah, there's a little spikes. And then there's nothing on the back because you're supposed to run on your toes. That's pretty cool. They're like little like slippers almost. And Molly said it like a really makes like a big difference. It's like the difference between like rain cleats in soccer versus like not. Oh, wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's cool. And they said you don't practice them. You really just wear them only when you're racing. That's pretty cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. I love it. Ew, look how dirty these are. All right, so now Katie's looking for regular running shoes. So they just measured her foot and then they're gonna have her try on. I feel on. so bad because my feet look and smell disgusting. Well, they do, they do. Thank goodness at this point you don't have smell vision. Literally, look at that. So see all the sand in that shoe? Yeah. That's from my <gasps> socks. Oh my I didn't gosh. even run in those. I ran in my under armor. Oh my gosh, that's pretty funny. Oh <laughs> Same color, that oh, would so be. Let, we gotta make sure it's your shoe first. Of course. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, you guys, this is my favorite color ever. Actually, that is the color that my bridesmaids dresses were in our wedding. Mom, you've told us that? I didn't tell, I didn't tell the camera you me. I know that. Alright, so Kate can't decide between that shoe. What do you think? We're not looking at pickles. Alright, what do you think? I like this one. And I like that one. I like both of them. But we can only buy one. I know. And we can't buy one of each. I don't think they'll let us buy one of each. What do you think? I don't know, bruh. I like both. But I don't know, because Molly has these ones, but I also really like those ones. And these ones are really comfy, but so are these ones. So I don't know. Did you run in both of them? Yes. Hmm. Well, the good news is, you buy a pair, and then you run and run and run and run, and then you need another pair, so then you get to come back and get a different pair. But they're not going to be the same. Not this year. That's true. That's true. There's no way that I'm running 400 miles. You say that now, Sister Slide. <laughs> you got the bug. You got the bug. What bug? The running bug. Oh. So, what do you think? Stop looking at my ankles. Oh, wow. So weird. <laughs> so weird. I don't know which ones I should get. You should pick for me. All right, maybe we should go to price. <laughs> I think that's a good idea. Are they equal? Okay. Oh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
I'm so <laughs> We'll just make a decision, Marty. I'm so bad at making decisions. Like literally I'm the worst decision maker there is. She yes. She tell me to get these ones if she didn't have them. But she's probably like, Why don't you text her? Ask her. Take a picture of both, take a picture of your feet and text Molly. They sent you already. Right, Molly? Molly didn't. Ring, so I'm getting these. And I'd be like, I called you three times and you didn't answer. <laughs> yeah, oh, she had her shoes. I think she's going to love the fact that you have the same shoes. And I'm highly jelly. I love them. They're beautiful. I think they're adorable. They're adorable. Love they're them. They're kind of icy, to be honest. But also, they're so icy. I, I think I, oh my gosh, look at them. They're kind of cool. What do you think? I don't know. Oh no, now you're going back? I'm going back. All right. Why don't you run around one more time and see which foot feels better? I feel like this one has more like support in it though. Okay, then get that one. It pushes it over All the right, edge. We're done. 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 Alright, what's happening here? The cats have absolutely taken over. What are you doing? You're like sitting half on the basket. <laughs> You're 100% goofy. So Ryan, this is the deal. You know how we put the collars on the kitties? Yeah. People say, well, why don't you microchip the cats in case they get lost? But we are, they are microchipped, but we have to put a little... Um, what's microchipped? You know, they have a little microchip inside them. Do you know what that is? It's a little, little teeny, teeny, yeah, teeny, yeah, 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 yeah. teeny tiny hey. piece of metal that they put uh, inside the kitty. Hey! Whoa! That has information. So, like, if you have a scan, literally, if you have a scanner, you can scan them. You can scan, them, and it'll come up and it'll say his name and where he lives and what my phone number is and stuff if they ever got lost. Oh, sorry. That's a microchip. Hi, Brennan. <laughs> so, I just need to put a little um, tag on them so people know that they're microchipped and what number to call. So they can find them. So that's why they have their little collars on. Brennan, do you need to come up, buddy? Yeah. Okay. Uh, are there cotton balls up here? Let's take a look. I think there are. Oh, there's cotton balls right there. This one's so far. Take yeah, the whole thing. You. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, very good. Um, Ryan. Yeah. I have some good news for you. It's usually not good news. <laughs> all right. Well, now that I have my hopes all the way up. Will you trust me on this one? Will you? Them for me? No, I promise this time it really is good news. Just like this morning. Oh yeah, that's great news. Yes. Um, we got an email from the Walt Disney Company, and they found your phone. Did they actually? They did. They did. It's on the way here. Oh, what, was no. it actually? Yes. It's on the way here. Seriously? Yes. No. Yes. Let's yep. Go. They found it, and it's on its way, and we're gonna get it back in. I don't know when. I, I have the UPS or you. The post office tracking yes. number. I know. That's big news. Go. It, it is big news. Who Ryan, wants to see? do you want to just explain a little bit for those who don't know what happened and how long ago that was? So anyway, we were just chilling and we were like chilling to play this live. This live is in Orlando, Florida, and we were like, "Yo, like Disney World's like 15 minutes away. Why don't we just go there for a little bit?" So we went there for a day, and I was I was chilling. Up. We were having a great time, and it fell out on a bus. When we got out of the bus, I just realized it and the bus was already like Pulled gone away. and stuff. And uh, we couldn't run after the bus because it had already gone by the time we realized. So we went in and we said, hey, we left the, Ryan left his phone on the bus and then we had to like write an email and fill out a form and this, right, that, and the other. Anyway, like... so it was literally two weeks ago today. Yeah, so you've been so without your iPhone for two Yo, weeks. It's been hard. Yeah? Really, How, right. I know. How have I'm, you coped? I'm what have you been doing? I'm proud. Yeah. I, I read a book. Oh, hey. you did? Oh, not not like a whole book. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, 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 like, I, like, I've been like reading. Good. Don't don't take inspiration from that. I am going to take inspiration, take inspiration, from, inspiration that. from that. You maybe just... maybe I'll keep the phone. No, no, that's not. That's but not. it is. It is hasn't been like it's like life without a phone isn't devastating. No, I. No, you've been you've been doing just no, fine. No, because I have alternatives. I have the computer and the iPad. So. Oh, I see. Okay, so you haven't been completely electronics free. <laughs> yeah, no. Okay. Not at all. Well, congratulations. Ugh, thank you. So we'll track it and see when it's going to get here. Okay? Maybe we'll have a great big celebration Ooh. when it arrives. When it does arrive, do you think that's going to be before the March Madness bracket closes? When does the March Madness so, bracket I close? My bracket, and I have such good picks. When does it close? So I think Thursday. Okay, so I can check and I see. Think, 
Thanks. All right, very good. So we're going to uh, we're going to end this night on a good note. Congratulations. I was getting my phone back. Also, <laughs> like, it wasn't that bad on Monday, after all. Yeah, Monday's not that bad. I think it wasn't so much better, but like, it wasn't that bad. Okay, well, congratulations. Thank you. What made me happy today was uh, I had a very good and um, good day at work. You did? And your back's 100% better, you said. Would you say 100%? Yes. Wow. Yes. So you can do back walkovers and stuff again? I can, yeah. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> Congratulations, Mike. That's good news. Thanks. Yes, baby doll. I know you do need another haircut. All right, you guys. Hey, what's about here and share what made me happy? Look, you know what made me happy today? A lot of things, but one of the things that made me happy and I wanted to share with you guys is some of our new merchandise, our new spring merchandise. Did you see that? What? What are you doing? Oh, this is a magnet, and you can put it on the back of your car. And I have one in the back of my car right now, and that's what made me happy today. I slapped it right in the back of my car. Living happy. You like that? Yeah. It's gonna drop uh, probably the day that this video goes up, March 20th, which is the first day of spring. Do you like that, Kate? Oh, isn't that cute? Oh, gross. We won't sell that one. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Unless you want it. <laughs> oh, it's so disgusting. Guys, request one that Katie put in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> nice. What made you happy today? Uh, probably this was really good. All right, thanks for sharing. And uh, I got a lot of my stuff done. All right. Very good. I ate a lot of food today. Pretty good Monday. Oh, how about the dinner? The dinner was so good. Was so good. Ryan said the same thing. Katie, how good was the dinner? Actually, Katie made the chicken. We had chicken, burritos, or enchilada, not enchiladas, chicken uh, quesadillas. And Katie made the me. chicken. And, oh! And, um, and that was really good. I think happy day was listening to Nobody's Perfect. Um, and getting spikes and my hand on Montana. And new shoes and leggings Girl. and a shirt. So, deuces, kisses, have a great day. I don't know if anyone's done their moment of happy yet, so I'll leave to the last person. It's you, you're the last person. Come with me to happy today and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.